I think we can all relate to watching a movie about World War II. Seeing airplanes going down left and right at the slightest damage. Have you ever thought about why that is? Or why can't we make them tougher? The first solution that comes to mind is putting armor on the plane. Reinforcing a plane is relatively simple, and armor is commonly used practically everywhere. However, we run into the minor problem that an airplane covered by armor, like a tank, can't take off. So where should we put that protection? The exact same question was floating in the heads of the British commanders in the Second World War. They had data on the planes that returned home, and where they were hit. The suggestion was made to put armor where the most bullet holes are, since that is apparently where the planes are being hit. The less holes, the better, right? Well, not exactly. Vald Abraham, an expert of statistics, suggested that they reinforce the parts that sustained little to no damage. But why? Simple. Because unlike him, the brass was committing a logical error known as survivorship bias. In simple terms, survivorship bias is the tendency to only focus on the survivors instead of everyone. Sometimes that means you only see the winners, not the losers. At other times, it means you only see the rich and the successful, but not the thousands who also worked hard but failed. The same applies to our airplanes. Since the only ones we can observe are the ones that survived and returned home, we don't know where the planes that didn't make it home were hit. So instead, what we can say is that the damage that was done to the planes that returned home wasn't fatal. We don't need to reinforce those damaged parts. Instead, focus on the unscathed parts of the plane and reinforce those. After it's explained, it seems so simple and obvious. Yet the commanders still didn't notice their fatal flaw. Does that mean that we are probably committing the same mistake in many decisions of our lives? It absolutely does. Survivorship bias will make you want to follow big CEOs, star athletes, or actors for advice on how to live your life and how to become successful. Most want to hear stories of struggling against the same forces that they themselves struggle against daily, and coming out as the winner. The caveat is that the bias will also make you conveniently forget about those that could tell you what to avoid, the ones who failed. And without both sides of the coin, you can easily come to the wrong conclusions. The same happens when you see a beautiful building and think that architecture was better in the old days. Or see a beetle and think cars were more reliable in the 60s. You don't see the hundreds of buildings that were raised or crumbled away, nor the thousands of terribly designed cars that were simply forgotten. Naturally, survivorship bias also applies when the stakes are higher, like research and finance. For example, research papers in psychology are often highlighted when they show significance while the ones disproving those same papers are stuffed in the drawers. This creates and spreads misconception, thus derailing scientific progress. Another field sensitive to it is cancer research. Very often, patients who survive less than three months don't show up in the data. This can lead to various problems, such as underestimating the effect of high BMI and waist size in pancreatic cancer patients, or the side effects of chemotherapy. In finance, it's common practice to cut losses, or in other words, close funds. These closed funds are often left out of calculations, making the investors think their returns will be much higher than they actually are, leading to disastrous consequences. This happened in the 60s and 70s, when a lot of people invested in Latin American markets. But a good 40 years later, some are still waiting for the Mexican miracle to hit. Whatever the stakes in our decisions, we are all prone to logical errors. It's especially hard to deal with survivorship bias, since you need to be conscious of the fact that you are missing something. Although it's a pain, it's well worth thinking about. After all, we all want to make better decisions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.